we saw all these things about how not to name the child, how not to name your child. So how do we name children then? Uh, my best uh, suggestion, my, my first recommendation is consult a Shrotriya Guru. Uh, a Shrotriya Guru or a Pandit of Sanskrit uh, in that order of preference. A Shrotriya Guru would know what's the right word, what's, what, what word is uh, uh, suitable as a name, what word is not suitable as a name as a Rashi name or a Nakshatra name or a non-Nakshatra name. We have had both in our culture. Uh, and how to find uh, a Guru which is very difficult to find or a Sanskrit Pandit. A Sanskrit Pandit is actually not that difficult. Ask around. There is a publication called Inventory of Sanskrit Scholars. If we Google with just those four words, you will get a PDF on the website of the Rashtriya Sanskrit Samsthan, if I am not mistaken. And that PDF has at least thousands, I think four or five thousand names uh, with contact details, address and in many cases phone numbers also of Sanskrit scholars. Or these days on Twitter also and social media you find uh, quite a few Sanskrit scholars. There is a uh, Venu Gopalan Shankaran, Venu Gopalan Shankaran, a very great Sanskrit scholar from Tamil Nadu. Uh, there is Balram Shukla, one of his students is here with us. Uh, Balram uh, Shukla ji tweets at uh, Achyut Ananta. There is Sampadananda Mishra, some of us know him, uh, he tweets at Sampadananda. Uh, there is Samod Acharya who is a very great scholar of Sanskrit from uh, Nepal. Uh, reach out to them on Twitter and there are many other names which I have not mentioned here just for the, for the in, uh, you know, lack of space. But uh, ask people who are teaching Sanskrit or who write Sanskrit poetry or books and they will be very happy to help you to validate a name or uh, you know. Uh, to give you some options. If this is not possible, then what I advise parents is uh, the never go wrong hack. You can't go wrong with this hack. Just pick up Vishnu Sahasranama for a boy and Lalita Sahasranama for a girl. Take a good publication and pick up a name from there. We cannot go wrong. Uh, so take any of these Sahasranamas and there are so many names in these Sahasranamas which are actually not common. The other day I was, uh, uh, I was uh, looking at Shiva Sahasranama and I found a name Vimukta. Mukta is a, is a common name, you know, you have uh, Mukta, Muktesh and all. Vimukta, if you search on LinkedIn, there are hardly 5 or 10 results. You can understand it easily. Vimukta, you can, un you can pronounce it easily. Vimukta, Vimukti, especially liberated. It's a name of Shiva in the uh, Shiva Sahasranama. Uh, similarly, you know, Atindra. Names which are easy to pronounce or well Atindra and Vimukta, Nirama, the name Ram is very popular uh, which is explained as Ramante Yogino Yasmin, Ramante Yogino Asmin Iti Rama, he in, in whom yogis take delight and there is a very beautiful name of Shiva in the Shiva Sahasranama which is Nirama, Nirama, which is explained as Nitaram Ramante Yogino Asmin Iti Nirama in whom the yogis always take delight is Nirama. Now Nirama, uh, an easy to pronounce name from the Sahasranama, you'll find rare names, you'll find common names, easy to pronounce, not so easy to pronounce and these are all uh, beautiful names from the Vishnu Sahasranama or the Lalita Sahasranama or Shiva Sahasranama. Uh, you can easily buy publications from Gita Press or other publishers. There are many translations, English, Sanskrit, Hindi, and we cannot go wrong with this kind of uh, approach. Uh, buy a Sanskrit dictionary. That's what I recommend parents. Uh, go for Apte. Apte is Sanskrit English or Sanskrit Hindi dictionary published by Motilal Banarsi Das. And I believe some other publications also cost something like 700, 800 rupees hardbound. Uh, and do some due diligence. Just, just check up in a dictionary. Or you can consult the digital editions on uh, the University of Cologne website, uh, which has digitized uh, a lot many Sanskrit dictionaries. Uh, cross check any information you read on baby names. Uh, some information is referenced, so it's easy to cross check. Some information is not referenced at all. You cannot cross check. So see if the content is transparent and verifiable. If somebody tells you about a name, if some website or some uh, uh, something on social media, some post on social media talks about a baby name and gives its meaning, check if there is some transparency. Where is this word used? Is it in the Vishnu Sahasranama? 
is it in the mahabharata it's is it in one of the vedic samhitas or uh, is it somewhere else in, in kavya literature in uh, in kalidasa's uh, works uh, whether the original quotes are given or not whether the meanings are given so we can see if the information is uh, just like you do you know for medical advice we don't trust any random medical advice on the internet we see who is giving that advice which website it is coming from what 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 is the kind of rigor and detail in that and finally question sources if possible especially on social media uh, i always welcome questions on my facebook and twitter uh, feeds if somebody has any questions on a name i try to explain sometimes if i have not explained it well or if i made a small mistake i correct it i acknowledge so uh, people are uh, uh, people sometimes do make mistakes so do question if you have any doubts uh, before blindly relying on a name